Hi everybody, my name is Jens Larsen. Swing feel is probably a big part of what you love about the jazz music that you're listening to. And you're probably also working hard to get that into your playing. And it could also be said that if you can play with a great swing feel, then it doesn't really matter what you're playing. And on the other hand, if you can't play with a great feel or with a swing feel at all, then no amount of hip arpeggios or sweet jazz licks are going to save your solo. In this video, I'm going to talk about swing feel. So I'm going to talk about what it is, how to understand it, but also a little bit about what it isn't and how it's often written down wrong. Then I'm going to give you some examples of different types of swing feel, because there isn't one great swing feel. There are different ways of interpreting this. They are all valid and you should check them out and you need to be able to recognize them and you need to train your ears. Finally, I'm going to give you some exercises and some suggestions on what you can work on if you want to improve your ability to control the swing feel that you're playing with. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar, improve your solos and check out some interesting voicings and arpeggios, then subscribe to my channel. If you want to make sure not to miss anything, then click the little bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. When I'm talking about swing feel in this video, then I'm talking about how we interpret the eighth notes. So in jazz, especially if you're thinking sort of hard bop or bebop oriented jazz music, then the main subdivision is eighth notes. And the eighth notes are usually written down as even eighth notes. So if we take a C major scale, it's written down like this. And then if you play it even, then that's how it sounds. Usually you will then see in the beginning of a score that is noted that it should be played with a swing feel, and that's described as triplet. And then it should sound like this. But most of the time when you're playing jazz, then you don't actually play really even, and you also don't play really triplet. You play something that's in between, that sounds a little bit like this. How we interpret the eighth notes, so how long we make the notes that are on the beat compared to the notes that are off the beat, is really what determines the swing feel. And there's no real way of writing this down. We don't really use a ratio that's predetermined that you can put your finger on. And even within a band, there might be several different swing feels happening at the same time. And that's really a part of jazz, but that's also where it really gets interesting, where we can't measure everything and still make it sound great. The first thing you want to train is your ears. For rhythm, the same goes as with harmony, even though we don't talk about it. If you want to play something with any kind of conviction, then you need to be able to hear it inside. And that means that you need to train your ears to really hear a swing feel, and really hear a groove if you want to be able to play it. So it can be a really good idea to check out some records with really great solos, with a great swing feel, maybe try to sing along to really log into the groove. And that's anyway something that's extremely useful for your phrasing. There isn't really one perfect or right way to do this. It's something that you need to have control over and then you have to apply it in the way that fits the situation that you're playing in to get the feel right. So let's just check out some different examples of different types of swing feel. <laughs> eighth note phrasing in the beginning of this Joe Pass solo on Stomping at the Savoy is pretty much triplet swing. You can hear it if you try to sing along the triplet subdivision with what he's playing, that that kind of fits. This is also very common for the medium and the slow medium tempos like this. Swing feel is really something that's depending a bit on the tempo because if you get higher tempos then the triplet swing doesn't sound that nice and it becomes more natural to try and play more even. <laughs> Pat Martino, on the other hand, is famous for playing completely even eighth notes. And that's also what you hear here. The tempo is a lot higher, so it also makes a lot more sense to play more even. With him, you can also really hear that he's just playing completely straight eighth notes, and that works extremely well for his energetic feel. Wes Montgomery is often very good at having this type of swing phrasing that's really in between even and triplet. And this is a pretty clear example where he's playing with a Dutch rhythm section. If you want to hear how this sounds compared to a more triplet swing feel, then just listen to the entire solo and hear how the piano player is phrasing when his solo begins afterwards. If you want to check out these different examples in more detail, and especially this Wes video is really worthwhile checking out, then I'm linking to all of them in the description of this video. Also just because the fragments that I'm using are of course extremely short. So how do you work on this? I think there are a few different ways that you can work on improving your swing feel. The first one is to just use the traditional way of learning jazz, which is copy some solos that you really love and learn to play them, play them with the recording, try to get to as close as possible to how it sounds on the recording. And this is really gonna help not only your swing feel, but also where you're placed on the beat if you're playing 
behind the beat or in front of the beat. And of course, it's also going to give you a lot of other information about phrasing and really be a great example of how good phrasing should sound. But there are other ways that you can start working with your swing feel just to become more aware and get a little bit more control over how you play and how you interpret the swing eighth notes. So uh, maybe try and work with this when you're practicing scales. Experiment with different swing feels. So let's say that we have uh, this tempo, which is sort of really slow medium, and that's two and four. So I'm gonna, just going to play a C major scale first, completely even. Then maybe completely triplet. So first you want to have the idea of where the triplet subdivision is. So And maybe try and play something that's in between. And you can also work with phrases or even bebop themes to experiment with playing with different swing feels and being able to choose yourself how you're phrasing. Who's your favorite when it comes to swing feel and how do you work on it? Leave a comment and help others find some good exercises and some good examples. It's not only me that's reading all the comments, so it's worthwhile checking out what's down there and there's usually a lot of good information being shared. If you want to check out a guitar player with amazing phrasing, then check out this video on George Benson. His lines are not only beautifully executed, but they're also just really amazing melodies. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar and this is the first time you see one of my videos, then subscribe to my channel. These are the kind of videos that I publish every week. And of course, if you want to help me keep making videos, then check out my Patreon page. That's about it for this week. Thank you for watching and until next week.